A 38-year-old officer from the Singapore Civil Defence Force SCDF was charged on Monday, October 16, over an offence related to the death of a 19-year-old full-time national serviceman after a firefighting operation. CNA reported on Monday that the officer, Muhammad Kamal Muhammad Yassin, was charged with one count of causing grievous hurt by a rash act endangering life or personal safety. Sergeant 1 Edward H. Go fell unconscious during the operation at Block 91 Henderson Road on December 8, 2022, and subsequently died in the hospital. According to a statement from the SCDF, released on Saturday, a second SCDF officer was separately referred by the police to the SCDF for departmental action. This incident marked the first time a firefighter lost their life during an SCDF operation. According to the police statement also released on Saturday, the SCDF officer to be charged, who was SGT-1 Ghost Superior, had allegedly left him alone in the Henderson Housing Unit to combat the ongoing fire without informing anyone, which was contrary to SCDF's firefighting doctrine. An autopsy conducted on SGT-1, Go determined that his cause of death was suffocation due to depleted air cylinder. The police stated that their investigation did not uncover any evidence suggesting equipment failure as the cause of SGT-1 Go's death. The police, in consultation with the Attorney General's chambers, will be charging the SCDF officer in court on October 16, 2023, for an offence of causing grievous hurt by a rash act which endangers life or the personal safety of others under Section 338 of the Penal Code 1871. The statement said, If found guilty, the SCDF officer could face a maximum penalty of up to four years in jail, a fine of up to $10,000, or both. The SCDF has also initiated an investigation into the second officer who, upon arriving and assuming command of the firefighting operation, allegedly failed to ensure its overall safety. If our investigation finds that this officer had contravened SCDF's doctrine on firefighting or standard operating procedures during the incident, we will take disciplinary action against him, the SCDF said. Pending the outcome of the investigation, the SCDF said that the officer had been redeployed to a non-supervisory and non-operational post.